So the first thing you should do in a zombie apocalypse is first you need to assess the zombies. I've made three categories for you to refer to when assessing these zombies and your chance of survival. So in category C we have the walking dead type zombies. These are zombies which haven't discovered running yet and just walk everywhere. The fastest you'll ever see these zombies go is for like a power walk. If these are the zombies you see then don't worry surviving this apocalypse will be a piece of cake. Then in category B we have the Shaun of the Dead type zombies. These zombies have a slightly higher average movement speed, however the reason these zombies are a bit more dangerous in category C is because 1 they are slightly smarter and 2 they are British zombies and we all know Americans are not the smartest. Also British zombies might have been drunk just before they turned into zombies which could end up being a very dangerous wombo combo. However there is still hope with category B zombies you just have to have your wits about you. And then we move into category A we have World War Z zombies. I can't lie, if you have these kind of zombies, just click off this video and just kill yourself. There's literally no point in even trying to survive. You're just delaying the inevitable. Those motherfuckers are fast. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Hella agile, and they do this. What the hell? Yeah, just don't bother with category A zombies, please. Anyways, moving on, if you're fortunate enough to fall into category B or C, then let's carry on with how to survive these zombies. Firstly, if you're with your family, then eh, it's up to you. You can try and survive with them, or you can wish them luck and just dip. Bye-bye! I mean, I think you know under what conditions certain folks must be left behind. Your group should consist of at most four to six people as well. These are the different types of people I'd recommend picking up in your group, and most people will have these kind of people in their friend groups anyways. Number one, you need a scientist or at least someone with a A level in any of the three sciences. Do not trust anyone with a good GCSE grade in science, that is not enough. I've seen too many retarded people get an A in GCSE science and they are thick as cement. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna get an ex fat person. By this, I mean one of your friends who used to be fat and then lost that weight, started hitting gym, etc. The reason I say this is firstly, they'll be in enough shape to do manual labour, help the group, etc. Secondly, they'll have expert food knowledge from their days as an ex-fat person. And thirdly, they'll have excellent food discipline having lost all that weight, so they won't eat all your rations. Otherwise, if you allow a fat person in, then, I mean, Negan said it the best. We're practically starving here. Starving. You. <laughs> really? Third, I would recommend a training or an actual doctor if you're lucky enough. Most friend groups have that one person that took education seriously and are getting a medical degree. It's kind of obvious why this person is important to be honest. These are the main important ones in my opinion. Besides them, you can fill your group with anyone else you deem useful and worthy. Then we look at the potential places to set up a base. Your house is probably not the best spot because of your relatives who might have turned into zombies and pay you a visit. I've seen many people suggest a supermarket which I don't think is a good idea. Whilst food won't be an issue there, everyone will be thinking the same as you and going to the supermarket and the last thing you want in an apocalypse is to be mingling with strangers because for some reason everyone turns into like some sort of cannibals or something. One of my favourite places to try and set up base would be a gym. Firstly there's weapons all around you in the form of dumbbells, barbells, plates, cables. Secondly it will be hard for zombies to enter unless they have a gym code because they're not making it through those pods. Thirdly, you can get jacked and ripped at the same time. This will give your group a massive physical advantage over other survival groups and of course the zombies. Another place I think will be excellent is an island in the sea. If you can somehow make it there, you've basically guaranteed survival. Obviously the hard part is reaching these islands. However, obviously stay away from islands with cannibal tribes. You know, you've just kind of played yourself at that point. <laughs> Oh, 